It started with her Instagram post. Kristina Zimanauskaya criticized Belarus's Athletics Federation for signing her up as a runner in the 400-meter relay, a race she had never done before. After her criticism, Zimanauskaya was told to return to Belarus. But with help from Japanese police, she fled to Poland instead. I always express my opinion openly. But in Belarus, you always have to watch your back. I think everyone is afraid to speak up. Andrei Kravchinko was one of over 400 athletes who signed a petition to the International Olympic Committee last year. They asked the IOC to stop supporting what they called Belarus's bloody, dictatorial regime. Kravchinka also protested against the disputed elections in 2020. For that, he was thrown into prison for 10 days. In Belarus, anyone who tells the truth faces repression and imprisonment. Some Belarusian athletes could not fly to Tokyo after the team ran out of doping tests. Zimanauskaya was added to the relay team at the last minute. She said her statements had nothing to do with politics. This was about sports. There was a mistake that meant two participants could not come to the Olympics. And all I wanted to say was that someone must take responsibility for that mistake. I did not want to connect it to politics in any way. Belarus's women's team finished last in the 400-meter relay race in the first round. As for Zimanauskaya, she hopes to continue her career. If not this Olympics, then the next.